Vietnam is a country on the rise. Within the last 30 years, the nation has transformed from an agricultural economy to a land of tech startups and privately owned ventures, lifting 45 million people out of poverty into a growing middle class. And now Vietnam is taking another bold step forward by building an automotive industry from scratch. Hi, I'm Claire Jedrick and you're watching Geared for the Future. Vietnam is a country that moves on two wheels. Around four million motorbikes traverse Hanoi's narrow streets. It's the most affordable mode of transport and integral to the Vietnamese way of life. But it is this image that Vietnam seeks to change. In 1986, the government initiated a series of political and economical reforms called Doi Moi. In the 90s, it poured its resources into its car manufacturing industry with the aim of creating an industrial economy. Và đến giai đoạn đổi mới, tức là 30 năm gần đây thì bắt đầu phát triển cái công nghiệp ô tô Việt Nam nhưng trong cái bối cảnh là mở cửa và cạnh tranh quốc tế nó rất là khó khăn. Cái việc nỗ lực phát triển công nghiệp ô tô của Việt Nam ấy nó đi liền với cái cái việc là phải phát triển một cái nền công nghiệp ô tô mang tính cạnh tranh quốc tế. By creating an open market, Vietnam's economy improved. But for the automotive industry, still in its infancy, this was a setback. Vietnam has never been a country that has been associated with production of cars. There have been local automotive brands that tried to break into the local Vietnamese market, but none have enjoyed much success. Keshvinder Singh has been watching Asian motoring trends over the last decade. Perhaps the reason why no local automotive brand has enjoyed much success in Vietnam is because prior to 2019, Vietnamese people have only ever been exposed to foreign automotive brands. Trước năm 2019, thì nền công nghiệp ô tô của Việt Nam chỉ dừng lại với những dòng xe được lắp ráp tại Việt Nam hoặc là nhập khẩu nguyên chiếc để bán tại Việt Nam. The industry was filled with car assembly companies for foreign brands with few original manufacturers, perhaps for a good reason. 15 năm, 20 năm trước, do cái giới trung lưu của Việt Nam còn nhỏ, cho nên rất ít người có thể là có tiền để mua được ô tô. At the time, Vietnam's GDP was around 350 US dollars per capita. Without a significant middle class who could afford cars, the industry flagged. Today, Vietnam's booming economy has given rise to a growing middle class. Its GDP per capita is now 10 times more, at close to 3,000 US dollars, creating a group with a larger disposable income. In 2018, VinFast, the automotive arm of the Vietnamese conglomerate VinGroup, stunned the world. It launched Vietnam's first locally manufactured sedan, SUV and hatchback. When I first heard about VinFast, well, I was skeptical about Vietnam producing its own cars. We have had nations that have tried and failed at producing its own cars before this. Despite the skepticism, the company persevered, adopting a unique approach to crafting the perfect car for the Vietnamese people. I'm in Hanoi to meet Ms. Van An, the deputy CEO of VinFast. How does VinFast ensure the success of the company where others have failed? We decided to have the strategy of standing on the shoulders of the giants. So we have decided to select the best in the world. For example, for styling, we decided to work with Pinion Farina from Italy. For engineering, we selected Magna Style. And then if you go to our plant, a facility, you will see state of the art and the best of the world equipment suppliers. As pioneers of Vietnam's automotive industry, VinFast is not just making cars, they are laying the groundwork for future car makers. You know, we set up the training center and invested a lot in that training center, so we also educate and train the people for the future and for the automotive industry. And it sounds like it was a huge investment. We started from scratch. At that point of time, we didn't have anything yet. So we have to start from like building the factory in 21 months. 
Currently, VinFast dealership network is the largest here in Vietnam. So talking about your vision and from theory to putting it in action, um, you said 21 months. I mean, that sounds like a world record. It's, it's phenomenal for the insiders like us as well. VinFast at that point of time is a new player in the industry, you know. So we introduce ourselves to a lot of partners and, and suppliers. We say, OK, we want to do this project within 21 months. They said, impossible. So you had to convince them? Yeah, we have to convince them. This is just the first step in VinFast's revolutionary goal, and the speed they are developing could help Vietnam catch up with its richer neighbors. All we have been doing from the products, from the network or the customer service, it's all for the better life of Vietnamese people. Vietnam's desire to become a modern industrialized country can be seen throughout the northern port city of Hai Phong. As one of 18 coastal and economic zones, Hai Phong has transformed into an industrial and logistics hub. At Cat Hai Island, a self-contained automotive factory was completed within a span of 21 months, half the time typically needed for a development of that size. With an estimated investment of 3.5 billion US dollars, this is where Vietnamese car dreams are realized. This is the body shop. We also have a press shop, we have a paint shop, a general assembly shop, an engine shop, and a sub-assembly shop. So in total, we have six shops in this business. Well, it must have been a massive undertaking because it was less than 21 months. You put all of this together. Yep, you're right. 21 months, major challenge, but we could only do it because we have fantastic people supporting the project. So we have an international team of experts from the car industry. The whole manufacturing plant covers 335 hectares. Using Industry 4.0 standards, this is a car manufacturing of the future. I'm in the body shop where parts of the car shell are fabricated. We have 1,200 ABB robots. Wow. Producing 100% of the welds for the car. So on this side of the shop, we're doing what I call the sub-assembly side. And then if you move to this side of the shop, this is where we do the framing side. So all these parts here come together, joined up, and creates the body of the car. The average VinFast car body has around 6,000 spots that need to be welded. By using robots, VinFast has found a way to shorten production time. So we're set up for 38 vehicles per hour. Both sedan and SUV are actually built on the same equipment. So when you annualise that volume, we've got the capacity to produce 250,000 vehicles per year. And I suppose this is a number that you're hoping that will increase over the next couple of years. Absolutely. <laughs> Automation has made it easier for humans to make cars. I'm about to try my hand at operating one of these machines. With supervision, of course. So pick up this panel. OK. All right. And I'll get you to put this in to the machine. You want to? Locate the panel like this onto the pins. Right. That's nice and secure. You'll pick up four of these. OK, and this is the right way like this? Yes. OK. Good thing I can count. That's it. Okay, good. OK. OK, now step out of the cell. OK. And push the button. And you'll watch this come Whoa, down. OK. And then if you have a look, you'll see the robot will start doing the work. Ah, OK. Awesome. So congratulations. Thank you. It looks like somebody out there will own a brand new car with a slight clear touch. It's not just robotics that is changing car manufacturing. VinFast has shaken up the car industry with a fully digital facility that synchronizes and automates each step of the production line. Vietnam is on a fast track to becoming car manufacturers. But how does a country without a history in automotives establish itself in the eyes of their buyers? Coming up next, we find out about VinFast's unique method of designing. Just two years ago, Vietnam's automobile industry was non-existent. In the span of 21 months, a local conglomerate achieved what nobody else had. Vietnam's first homegrown car. I've already seen how efficient the body shop is. Now I head over to VinFast paint shop to witness what promises to be one of the most efficient paint jobs ever. But first, I'm getting a crash course on how to use the manual spray, a basic skill for a repairman just to get a taste. 
So you should hold the hose with your left hand. Okay. And then when you pull the trigger, yep. you pull the first phase air and you pull it back more, then ah. there's the spray, there's the paint that comes out. Perfect. Okay. okay. So start from the left and do a consistent motion left to right, left to right. Okay, let's get let's get Go this for it. Okay. Bend the knees. Bend the knees. Nice. Down. Okay. Good job. Thank you. Seems easy enough, but it takes a lot more than spraying a coat of paint to get a job done. At the end of the paint job, the thickness will have a consistency of 100 microns, the same as a strand of hair. We usually look at the quality of the paint. Mm -hmm. So usually when you go up to a painted vehicle, you can see your reflection. With the training completed, now it's time for the real deal. No pressure. So, OK, from here. OK, Ooh. good job. Thank you. It takes an average of six to eight hours to paint a car. First, it's treated to prevent rust before it goes through a dipping process to prime the surface with an electrostatic coat. After the coat is baked, the car is sealed to prevent water and fuel leaks. The car then goes through another cycle of priming where it's painted and then baked before the top coat is applied. Lucky for me, the work in the paint shop is 95% automated and my training is complete. This is one of the most technically advanced paint shops in Asia. We have Dewar as one of our partners who provided the technical support while we built and are starting up this paint shop. Oh, perfect. I guess you can't get too creative with the paint jobs here, can you? Well, we kind of do. For Vietnam, we've got a uh, red and a blue that is very unique. What's the most popular paint color? Cool. Uh, I'd say probably white. Oh, you're correct. How'd you know that? Genius. It must, wow. be, it must be the coat. In 2017, out of 1,000 Vietnamese citizens, only 16 owned cars. By 2019, passenger car sales had risen by around 30%. The growing middle class was driving car sales and VinFast wanted to cash in. I'm meeting Mr. Vo, deputy CEO of the automotive arm of VinGroup. Với mục đích là ra những dòng xe đầu tiên của VinFast sau khoảng 2 năm, thì tôi đưa chọn một cái phương án là chọn cái thiết kế của Ý, công nghệ của Đức và với cách làm của một cái công ty Việt Nam và chất lượng thì là chất lượng trên như là những dòng xe nổi tiếng của thế giới. As a new car brand, Mr. Vo knew that they had to make an impression for their first sedan, the Lux A 2.0 and SUV the SA 2.0. So they gathered 20 different designs from Italian car design companies and invited the public to vote. Đây là thương hiệu ô tô Việt Nam đầu tiên, cho nên chúng tôi muốn người khách hàng Việt Nam gắn bó với cái dòng sản phẩm của mình bằng cách là cho họ đi tham gia cái việc chọn lựa ra cái mẫu thiết kế đầu tiên của hai dòng xe đầu tiên của chúng tôi. The winning designs launched in 2018 and in the same year won a Star is Born award in the Paris Motor Show. Cái việc mà được nhận cái giải thưởng ngôi sao mới là một cái đứng là một cái đánh dấu rất quan trọng cho chúng tôi là một cái sự công nhận cho một cái một cái thương hiệu của Việt Nam ô tô Việt Nam mà coi như là một cái bắt đầu cho đi vào ngành công nghiệp ô tô của đất nước Việt Nam qua thương hiệu VinFast. Can you tell me more about the designs? Thiết kế của chiếc xe có nhiều cái điểm cái biểu tượng cho những cái, cho cái nét đẹp của Việt Nam hoặc là ví dụ như là cái hệ thống đèn trước và đèn sau với cái chữ V như Việt Nam và nó có vút dáng như một cái một cánh chim bay lên của câu chuyện thần mà câu chuyện mà chúng tôi mới bắt đầu ra câu chuyện ô chiến ô tô mang thương hiệu Việt. Sophisticated and meaningfully designed. These cars are meant to represent Vietnam on the world stage. But how do they measure up to other cars? For such a relatively young company, they've made quite a statement. Design is actually one of the most basic elements when it comes to a car, you know? You don't want a car that is overly powerful, yet, you know, it chugs down fuel. So having a sleek exterior actually reduces drag coefficient, which helps with fuel consumption. So it's actually a functional car. So really, it's about the ease for the customer. You know, you, when you leave the house and you get into your car, you're basically, especially if you're spending all the time in traffic, you're going from one home to another. Correct. This car is not a simple rebadging. It's a complete re-engineering. 
That just means that VinFast is serious. They're out there to create great cars. And you see it in this car. Yeah, I think they want to make a product that is truly Vietnamese, that is going to be truly something which they call their own. Just a year after its launch, Vietnam's first car is already making waves. And I can't wait to drive the car on the test track to see how it fares. Vietnam's motorbike-filled motorways are about to change with the entry of Vietnam's first homegrown car brand. To date, VinFast has more than 17,000 orders for their SUV, sedan and hatchback models. Well, we're going to test drive the VinFast cars on the facility over here. I'm just coming up to the start line and this is where they iron out any wrinkles that the car uh, might have. Okay, first thing, we're gonna check the handling of the car. Now, I think the handling of the car basically is just the input that I give to the car and how it responds back to me. This sedan is a front engine, rear wheel drive, which is on the sporty side. And it's powered by a turbocharged two liter four cylinder engine. But what I'm really looking out for in the car is the handling and the torque. Here it goes, we're gonna go up to 40 kilometers an hour and then we're gonna throw the weight of the car a little bit around. <laughs> there we go. Now that's as, as responsive as I thought it would be. So even though it looks like a sports car, I wouldn't quite say that it is. I think the interesting part now is, uh, let's just see what kind of power it has, what kind of torque that it has. Alrighty, three, two, one. Okay, it's not a lot, it's 173 and 227. Let's see what it feels like. Hands on the wheel, foot down. Lots of lag, going for a Sunday drive for sure. Next up, the suspension of the car. The test track has a series of terrains that will give me a pretty good idea of its stability. Going over these cylindrical concrete markings and lumps on the floor, that's something you do every day. So at least you know that if it came across one of those, perhaps on a construction site, that it would work. We're gonna go down to 10 kilometers an hour here. The car feels pretty rigid, I would say. The suspension isn't that soft. I mean, it's it's soft enough to be comfortable if you were to be in a situation, let's just say, a little bit off-road. The real test, however, is its safety performance. Both models underwent the new car assessment program and scored an outstanding five stars, the highest rating you can get. I'm gonna speed up, I'm gonna do a bit of a brake test again. It's supposed to be 8.9 seconds. I'd say for the braking, he's got a quite standard braking. The ABS is kicked in with all the different uh, braking segments for each of the wheel. It's got the essential six airbags, so super safe crumple zones in the front, in the rear. I have to admit I enjoyed that drive and I can understand why it's so well received. But is it enough in such a competitive industry? Since the launch of VinFast's first car model, the hatchback, a group of early adopters have formed a fan group identifying themselves as VinFasters. Zan, Hero and Leo enjoy cruising around in their cars, taking trips around Vietnam when they can. So what made you decide to buy Vietnam's first locally made car? It's a pretty big deal. Firstly, it's from Vietnam. I'm very proud of it. Every uh, product from uh, Win Group is very good. Yeah, so I chose to buy it. Now, guys, how did your friends really react when you first bought the VinFast car? Are you crazy? Crazy when you choose no brand, no name. Why you do not choose another brand name? Now that you actually own a VinFast car, how do you actually feel about driving it and owning it? Actually, it's the driving experience. It's very good, like whatever you do with the car, when you turn and everything, you can feel it. When you accelerate, you can feel it. It's very smooth and the sound proof is very good. Now, if I was saying to you guys, I'm looking for a new car, guys. Being fast, it's beautiful, it's strong, and it's Vietnamese. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the same. It might still be early days, but the growing popularity of these cars is a promising sign for Vietnam's automotive industry. 
25,000 jobs have been created, and along with it, suppliers from supporting industries, boosting Vietnam's economy toward industrialization. Thì khi mà công nghiệp ô tô phát triển, nó cũng là góp phần làm cho cái ngành cơ khí của Việt Nam phát triển. Và với cái ngành cơ khí Việt Nam phát triển ấy, thì nhiều cái lĩnh vực khác của Việt Nam, công nghiệp khác của Việt Nam nó cũng phát triển. Thì nó sẽ tạo ra những cái cái tiếp cận chính sách, một cái định hướng phát triển cho cái công nghiệp hỗ trợ rất là quan trọng cho Việt Nam trong cái, cái giai đoạn tới. VinFast has ambitions beyond Vietnam. Vin Group Chairman Pham Ngoc Vong has plans to develop electric vehicles for export to the United States. Và quan trọng hơn là chúng tôi cũng sẽ muốn là người một công ty tiên phong đưa cái dòng xe điện vào trong thị trường Việt Nam bằng cách bằng việc là đưa ra cái dòng xe xe điện, ô tô điện và dòng xe buýt điện trong thời gian tới. Nhưng mà chúng tôi vẫn tin tưởng rằng về lâu dài sẽ thuyết phục được cái người tiêu dùng Việt Nam sử dụng cái dòng xe điện xanh, xe điện, xe máy điện này vì đó là giải pháp mang đến cuộc sống người Việt Nam tốt đẹp hơn với giải pháp tốt đẹp cho môi trường. Vietnam is at a crossroads in the development of its economy. Will this new player spur the emergence of Vietnam's auto industry and overhaul the manufacturing here? Will this be a new driving force to put Vietnam on the world map? Well, we'll just have to wait and see.